Hey Anne, in this video I'm going to show you how to grow your own broccoli sprouts. It is so easy, you just have to get a couple of things. Now if you're new, welcome. I'm called Adrian. I make videos all about alternative, safe, natural and effective ways to maintain and improve your mental and physical health and well-being. And if you're not new, welcome back. It's really good to see you again. Now in order to make your own broccoli sprouts, you're going to need to have some kind of sprout. You can get jars like this one, or you can get this uh, sprouting tray set that I've had for a while. So I'm going to show you how to use this one, but the principles would be the same for both. The first thing you're going to need to do is to get yourself some good quality broccoli sprouting seeds, preferably organic, and then either these sprouting trays or this sprouting jar. So the first thing you want to do is to soak the broccoli seeds overnight that encourages them to sprout so you'd put them into the tray pour filtered water over them and you're going to put them in a dark cupboard and leave them for about eight hours or overnight once you've done that you can take them out and i actually spread them out like this across the three trays so we had three teaspoons of seeds in this and we're roughly going to equate them to about that in order to spread the seeds out the way i found to do it is to fill the bottom tray with water and then just bounce them up and down in the top and the seeds spread out very nicely. You're going to dry the tray off and put that back in the cupboard, leave it overnight. So around the next morning you should start to see some of these sprouting like this and then you're going to rinse them every morning and then put them back in the cupboard and then rinse them at night and put them back in the cupboard. You're going to do this for about three or four days and you'll start to see more growth like this and this and then around about day four or five, you should start to see a lot of growth, um, normally about sort of half an inch, an inch long. At that point, what you're gonna do is start to keep rinsing morning and night, but you're gonna start putting them out. Now this tray is great because it gets lots of light, so I just put it on the countertop, not in direct sunlight, but it's got access to light, and that causes them to start greening up. And somewhere between day five and seven, you'll have these completed sprouts like this, and then all you're gonna do with that is you can put them into a container. Once you've dried them off, do let them dry before you do that. And put the container in the fridge. You can sprinkle them on salad. You could take pinches of a you know, small handful and eat them during the course of the day. You could freeze some to put them into smoothies later on if you want. And that's it. It is just so simple. If you've not watched the video about the benefits of broccoli sprouts, it's in the description below or at the end. I would encourage you to watch that. These things are the ultimate medicine, if you will. So it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. If you like the video, please give it the thumbs up. If you have not already subscribed, do click on the subscribe button and the bell icon so that YouTube can keep you notified when we release new content. If there's any content you'd like me to make for you, please put something in the comments and I'll have a look at it and see if I can add it to my list of subjects. And I've really enjoyed talking to you and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See ya.